Good morning, class. Welcome to today's lesson. I am Miss Jane. We will read today's story together, and later Brian will read a small part of the story as you repeat after him. In this story, Paul gets new bright blue shoes for school and feels excited to show them off to his friends. He feels proud and happy when his friends and teacher admire his new shoes, making his day even more special. Please like and subscribe. Comment in your language or English if you can. You can also check out a complete English course below in the description with over 40 hours of video lessons. Now, let's dive into the story. Paul's New Shoes Paul was very happy. Today he got new shoes for school. They were bright blue with white laces and shiny soles. Paul loved his new shoes and couldn't wait to show them to his friends. In the morning, Paul got dressed quickly. He put on his school uniform and his new shoes. He felt excited as he looked in the mirror. These shoes are awesome, he said to himself with a big smile. Paul's mom took him to school. When he got out of the car, he saw his friends playing in the schoolyard. Paul ran over to them, eager to show off his new shoes. Hey everyone, look at my new shoes, Paul said proudly. His friends gathered around to see. Wow, those are so cool said his friend Jack. I love the color, said his friend Emma. Where did you get them? asked his friend Sam. Paul felt very proud. My mom bought them for me yesterday. They are super comfortable, he explained. During recess, Paul and his friends played a game of tag. Paul ran fast in his new shoes feeling light and happy. He could tell that his new shoes helped him run even faster. After recess, it was time for class. Paul sat at his desk, still feeling proud of his new shoes. His teacher noticed and said, Paul, those are nice shoes. I'm glad you like them. Paul smiled and thanked his teacher. He listened carefully in class, feeling confident and happy. He couldn't wait to tell his mom how much his friends and teacher liked his new shoes. When school ended, Paul met his mom at the gate. Mom, everyone loved my new shoes, Paul said excitedly. They said they are really cool. Paul's mom smiled and gave him a hug. I'm glad you like them, Paul. You deserve it. Paul felt proud and happy all the way home. He knew that his new shoes were special, and he was excited to wear them again the next day. Before we do some reading practice, let us go through a list of a few vocabulary words in the story. Here is a list of ten vocabulary words from the story above, along with their meanings and example sentences. Eager, very excited and interested keen. Example sentence. Mary was eager to show off her new shoes to her friends. Proud feeling pleased and satisfied over something regarded as highly honorable or creditable. Example sentence. Mary felt proud when her friends admired her new shoes. Gathered. Came together assembled. Example sentence. Her friends gathered around to see her new shoes. Admiring. Viewing with respect or warm approval. Example sentence. Her friends stood around her, admiring the bright blue color of her shoes. Confidence. 
a feeling or belief that you can do something well or succeed at something. Example sentence. Wearing her new shoes gave Mary a boost of confidence. Recess. A period of time during the school day when children can play. Example sentence. During recess, Mary and her friends played a game of tag. Swiftly. Moving or capable of moving with great speed. Example sentence. Mary ran swiftly across the playground in her new shoes. Expression. The look on someone's face that conveys a particular emotion. Example sentence. Mary had a joyful expression as she ran in her new shoes. Lesson. An amount of teaching given at one time a period of learning or teaching. Example sentence. Mary listened carefully during the lesson, feeling happy and confident. Deserve. Do something or have or show qualities worthy of reward or punishment. Example sentence. Mary's mom told her she deserved the new shoes because she had been so good. Great. Now let us do some speaking practice. Paul was very happy. Paul was very happy. Today, he got new shoes for school. Today, he got new shoes for school. They were bright blue with white laces and shiny soles. They were bright blue with white laces and shiny soles. Paul loved his new shoes and couldn't wait. Paul loved his new shoes and couldn't wait. To show them to his friends. To show them to his friends. In the morning, Paul got dressed quickly. In the morning, Paul got dressed quickly. He put on his school uniform and his new shoes. He put on his school uniform and his new shoes. He felt excited as he looked in the mirror. He felt excited as he looked in the mirror. These shoes are awesome. These shoes are awesome. He said to himself with a big smile. He said to himself with a big smile. Paul's mom took him to school. Paul's mom took him to school.
When he got out of the car, when he got out of the car, he saw his friends playing in the schoolyard. He saw his friends playing in the schoolyard. Paul ran over to them. Paul ran over to them. Eager to show off his new shoes. Eager to show off his new shoes. Hey, everyone. Look at my new shoes. Paul said proudly. Hey, everyone. Look at my new shoes. Paul said proudly. His friends gathered around to see. His friends gathered around to see. Wow, those are so cool, said his friend Jack. Wow, those are so cool, said his friend Jack. I love the color said his friend Emma. I love the color, said his friend Emma. Where did you get them? Asked his friend Sam. Where did you get them? Asked his friend Sam. Paul felt very proud. Paul felt very proud. My mom bought them for me yesterday. My mom bought them for me yesterday. They are super comfortable, he explained. They are super comfortable, he explained. During recess, Paul and his friends played a game of tag. During recess, Paul and his friends played a game of tag. Paul ran fast in his new shoes. Paul ran fast in his new shoes. Feeling light and happy. Feeling light and happy. He could tell that his new shoes. He could tell that his new shoes. Helped him run even faster. Helped him run even faster. After recess, it was time for class.
After recess, it was time for class. Paul sat at his desk, still feeling proud of his new shoes. Paul sat at his desk, still feeling proud of his new shoes. His teacher noticed and said, His teacher noticed and said, Paul, those are nice shoes. Paul, those are nice shoes. I'm glad you like them. I'm glad you like them. Paul smiled and thanked his teacher. Paul smiled and thanked his teacher. He listened carefully in class. He listened carefully in class. Feeling confident and happy. Feeling confident and happy. He couldn't wait to tell his mom. He couldn't wait to tell his mom. How much his friends and teacher liked his new shoes. How much his friends and teacher liked his new shoes. When school ended, Paul met his mom at the gate. When school ended, Paul met his mom at the gate. Mom, everyone loved my new shoes. Paul said excitedly. Mom, everyone loved my new shoes. Paul said excitedly. They said they are really cool. They said they are really cool. Paul's mom smiled and gave him a hug. Paul's mom smiled and gave him a hug. I'm glad you like them, Paul. You deserve it. I'm glad you like them, Paul. You deserve it. Paul felt proud and happy all the way home. Paul felt proud and happy all the way home. He knew that his new shoes were special. He knew that his new shoes were special. And he was excited to wear them again the next day.
and he was excited to wear them again the next day. Well done. I believe that now you have improved your English speaking and listening skills. It was very nice having you today. Please like and subscribe. I hope you learned a lot. Remember we are offering a course with over 40 hours of video lessons. The link is in the description. See you in the next lesson.